Okay, yeah. mm, hello, welcome. Uh, good evening to everyone. Hello, good evening. <laughs> good evening, it's a pleasure to me um, to join here to this video class. Um, let's see, we're going to start with uh, the video class. I know that you are just four. I'm seeing here in the, in the list that I have, you are just four, but um, we can wait more time till uh, the, your other classmate joined. Um, first of all, I want to ask you uh, if you had complete or if you have any question about the, the platform that you, where you are developing the exercises uh, of this course. Um, does anybody has a question for me? Or does anybody um, has had a problem with the platform? Uh -huh. Good evening, teacher. Uh, do you know if they do you know if they fix the the platform the part the final exam part B? I was C? I was checking. I was checking. Um, the platform and haven't been solved yet, but uh, I hope that they can solve it soon. Um, till then, so I will notice, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. So if they fix it, I will notify you because I, I was trying to um, uh, see what are some of the, of the things that must be solved for the, that, the course. Let's see. Right. Um, and what about the rest? Do you have any question for me? Or um, who was your progress in, in the platform? You already finished? Uh, you are in the middle of the course? Tell me about it. Miss Lopez, do you already finish the exercises? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Not yet. I'm Not still yet. in section three, but I had trouble in a section two, period two. 2.2. 2. Yep. Okay, tell me, what's the problem there? I'm not sure if I um, do it that wrong. Okay. Wait for a minute. Sure. My mouse become crazy. <laughs> they use, they say real, real right. The sentence using passive and preposition given. I write all sentence. I write just beginning from by. I wrote the rest of the sentence without by and any mikon any miku. Okay, how you did? How you did? You just uh, write the, the end of the, of the sentence uh, or did you write it completed? Thanks. If you write it complete write or, or just the, the yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, you are in, in, in section number two, right? Section 2.2, what it says, now let's check, right? Yes. Okay, the instructions are right sentence yes. using passive and the preposition keep and don't forget to use capital letters and periods. Okay, uh, and the first example that we have here, evolution is written by the hell of people in urban areas. We have to use by, okay. Oh, okay, got it. In this part, what we have to do is rewrite the sentence in passive voice. Um, as we saw in, in, in uh, the video conference before, so we must use by. 
Um, <clears throat> tell me, what is uh, the possible answer that you're giving to um, the platform? Can you type it on the, on the chat? Or can you tell me right now to check if, um, if there is something I, that can be solved? In number one. Okay, number one. I put this. Okay, let me see. Um, oh, you're writing in, in wait, what's wait, approved, wait. right? Okay, let me see. Yeah. It says by the health of people in urban areas is driven by a pollution. Okay. Ah, uh, erase first by. First by is bad. Yes, you must you must delete by and then uh, your sentence yeah. will be correct. So you must delete by uh, at the beginning, but you must delete by but just at the beginning of the sentence. Yes. You did it? Yes, but not good. I put this right now okay. and not waste is bad. Uh, but there you have a you have a uh, um, okay a mistake. Mm, remember that well, the instructions uh, the ins the instruction says uh, um, don't forget use capital letters and periods. If you if you type that sentence in in the box in that way, uh, it's, showing, it's showing you wrong because you must use the capital letter. And, and also the, the period at the end of the sentence. Try in that way. Okay. I put that. Okay. And it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Why? Okay. It is the health of people in urban areas. Okay. Is oh got, got it got it I got it. You you're missing you're missing um, the auxiliary uh, v. Remember that when we use when we use this kind of sentence we must use vin vin okay. The health of people in urban areas is being treated by air pollution. Vin, you're missing the word vin there. The sentence is correct, but um, you must add vin, okay? Try it that way. Vin. Vin, with ing, no, it's with ing form. Okay, I will, I will uh, send it to you uh, in the WhatsApp group. I will try to see if you can. Um. It's being treated by air pollution. Try it this way. Check it out. Check out the, the, the WhatsApp group. There you have. Okay. So the thing is that we must use VIN um, because um, in the in the video conference that we attended the, the last week, we saw the way that we have to use the passive voice in this part. And also- It's bad. It's bad, why it's bad? I don't know, but okay. the, health... the platform mark <laughs> Okay, let's check because uh, the, the, that's the, the correct answer. It says the health- I of people, of people in, uh, in, in urban, urban areas okay is being is being treated, treated. It. ah okay there the word treating it okay treating it by air pollution you must correct that check it out the, the spelling the spelling of the sentence there treating it you you wrote treat okay it must be yeah. three tenet. If you want, I can, I can, uh, I can spell that word. Okay, T H R E A T 
T. Okay, listen. I, I will repeat it again. T. Okay. H. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. R. E. Mm -hmm. A. Mm -hmm. T. Mm -hmm. E. Mm -hmm. N. E. D. Mm -hmm. Okay. Try now. Finally, it's good. It's good. Okay, so that yeah. this just just the, the spelling of that word that that you must check. Then you can solve the other ones uh, using bean or bean. Uh, that this means being in uh, like progressive, and the other bean is in 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 uh, perfect tense. Okay. So. Thank you, teacher. Let's go to the following. Uh, well, I will ask to everybody. So most of you are connected right now. And I want to ask you, do you have any question for me um, about the, the platform, about any exercise that you haven't solved uh, or something that you want to ask? And well, you can open your microphone and tell me right now. Just yes, teacher, I have a uh, final exam. And okay. let us see. Uh, the following of the exercise is, is complete for two parts. And the last part, three parts, sorry. The last part uh, in the sentences three and four with the use the not. I don't know which is the problem because I. I have a, I, I didn't do it. <laughs> I you didn't, didn't do it. Do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you are, I mean, you are in, in, in section, uh, let me see, section V, right? In the final C. exam. Section V. No, uh, the section C. Oh, C. section C. Okay, let's see. The uh, complete, the, complete the sentences. And you are in part, one, two, or three? In three parts. In three. part number three. Okay. Yes. Exercise uh, one, two, three, three four. Three and four. Three and four. Ah, okay. Yeah. Let's check. Um, why? Okay. Tell me, what is the, the answer that you're giving there? Maybe in that way. I in my help. case, uh, I put, I, I won't need. Want? Need. Okay. Need. Mm -hmm. And but it's, it's not possible. <laughs> okay, it says that is it, it's wrong, right? Yes. Okay. But I try to put in. Can that, you can you uh, type I it? Not, I can you type? Not, it? I will be not. Live uh, and need need it in the same the the same part of wrong also. Okay, so in this case, uh, well, I, I, I need to see how you're writing because you say uh, we'll need, but the, maybe it could be a problem of, of, of the spelling could be. Can you type it in the WhatsApp group or if you can type it here in the chat of this video conference? So can you do it? Okay. okay. Okay, one need. Very good. And in this sentence, one need. Okay. Um, here we have something and that I, I see in the in the in the uh, answer that you're giving is that you are using the capital letter. Uh, you must use uh, these small ones. Okay, um, 
and just type won't need, won't need, just won't need. It's the same teacher. I put in, I, I don't put in the capital letter and the problem is the same, it's grown. Okay, let me see why. I will check right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. Uh -huh. So, can you please just type and uh, copy and paste this? I will share to you uh, this phrase in, in the chat here in the in the in zoom can you please just copy and paste that because it's the same answer okay it's the same answer one need can you see the phrase there just copy and paste there let's see what happens okay. Where do you use the platform? In your cell phone or in, in my cell phone? In your cell phone. What? I will send yes. WhatsApp group. Just give me a second. Okay. Will be uh, much better for you. Just I will open here. Let's see. On it. Do it okay. that way. Yes, I'm on. I can see what's the problem there. Just let me confirm if I'm going right. Just copy and paste that phrase and check. Okay. Do you check? Yes, it's the same. The same it's problem? Wrong. Yes. <laughs> okay, because what I, what I see there is that um, the problem that I see there is the apostrophe, okay? Because in this case, uh, we're using a different apostrophe um, and that may be the problem in this exercise. Uh, but I sent to you the correct answer that must be won't need. Uh, if you say that it doesn't work in that way, maybe it could be your platform, okay? Please, something that you can do okay. is just um, go to, to the dashboard and, and sign out and sign in again uh, and check, okay? Sorry, teacher. Okay. Uh, the me. number four is won't believe in. Is true? Number four. See. Si. No, we're talking Better about is... we're talking about the exercise number three. We're talking about the exercise number three that it says you won't need um, a keyboard because they will be touch screen activated. Okay. Is that that answer the ones that I'm giving? Uh, to Miss Molina is the exercise number three, won't need. The exercise number four, yes, uh, in that one, um, it is won't be living. Okay, won't okay. be living. Thank you. Okay. What happened with the platform? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what's happened, but. Um, so, but the problem the the platform is, I remember I think it is only in this level I have a lot of problem with that because the other levels um something like that only one sentences or one exercise is a, a I had a problem with that no and problem. now I problem with the 
most of the two or three part of the exercise and sentences. Okay, okay. Uh, so if you want, we can check that uh, using the WhatsApp group. You can contact me, but using the WhatsApp group, right? Because they, I have to tell you something. Um, if you are going to okay. contact me, okay, uh, this is just an extra information that I have to give you to, to you, to everybody. Okay. If you want, if you want to contact me, um, please do it using WhatsApp group. Because if you send me private message, I won't answer. Okay. Um, if you notice the ones that have, that have sent me private message. Sometimes I don't answer because uh, um, we have the group for that purpose. Um, mostly because you can have the same problem that uh, someone else or, or another classmate. And um, you must solve it. You, you, you will solve it. And also we're going to solve the same problem to uh, someone else and, and he or she they don't that don't, doesn't need to to um, ask for it again so for that reason i'm asking you um to do it in that in, in that way using the whatsapp group so okay. right now what we are going to do is um go to the presentation that, that i have prepared for you tonight and um and uh, the topic that we're going to be developing is how or get something done, okay? We're going to see how this causative verb works and we're going to see how we construct sentences using them. Uh, first of all, we're going to uh, take the objective uh, that we have in the platform and it says by the end of this class, participants uh, will be able to describe a service performed for them by someone else using have or get. As I told you, this verb, have or get, are called causatives. We're going to see why. Um, before going to the topic, well, this is not Walt Disney, but uh, let me correct this. This is not Walt Disney. It's just a phrase in this way. Okay, there. It says, the closer to a tree, good chase covered you. Have you ever listened to this phrase before? Have you ever listened to this phrase in Spanish before? The closer no. to a tree, good chase covered you. Okay, does anyone here can imagine uh, what this phrase uh, refers to? It's a popular, it's a popular uh, phrase. I know that you have listened um, at least once in your life. The closer to a tree, good chase cover you. Mm -hmm. Try to think, try to think. Um, teacher. Tell me. I guess that says the old people, grandmothers, grandfathers, about the say close of good people. Okay. Or experienced people because they can show us the good or the bad things because we, we don't make wrong things or something like that. Okay. Very good. Someone else? Uh, I think that if you meeting with a good person is that um, polite or education is a good for you, for us. Uh, when you meeting with a Realable, realable person or good person that um, feeling is good because if that mm, the person is good, you are good. Something okay. like that. 
Maybe. Okay, thank you. Let's see, someone else. So room world sell with with good people. Okay. Um, okay thank maybe you. when maybe when you have a good interpersonal relationships with people who is influenced and that give us advantage. Okay. We can get the new pie. Okay, very good. Someone else? You're giving good opinions about it. I think is, the meaning is the depend the people with the person have relation and is the beh the behavior that he have. Okay. Very good. Thank you. And have you ever listened this uh, phrase in Spanish? Yeah, uh, like uh, el que a buen árbol se arrima, buena sombra le acobija. Exactly. That's a phrase that we're discussing um, in, this, um, in this slide. Very good. So, and it is, it's, it's, it's a common phrase um, in Spanish that we, as I told you, have listened at least once in your life. Uh, let's see, we're going to continue. Thank you for your participation. You uh, give good opinions, yeah. you did it well. And I think that it's, uh, there's nothing that I have to add to this quote because you already say all uh, what is important here. Um, we're going to develop the topic and the topic is called have or get something done, okay? Um, when we talk about have or get, and uh, we refer to uh, causative verbs. And what are causative verbs? First of all, we're going to define uh, what are those. And it says that uh, we use causative verb when we want to talk about something that someone else did for us or for um, someone else. It means that the subject caused the action to happen. And um, in this case, um, we didn't, okay? Or we didn't do by ourselves. For instance, maybe someone pays something to you or someone asks something to you or someone persuade you um, to someone else or you, okay? So those, in this case, get and, and have, are called causative verbs. There are uh, other causative verbs, but we won't focus on, on those causative verbs. We're going to be talking just um, about have and get. Let's see. Check it out, this sentence. These are examples of uh, causative verbs. Um, I clean my house. If we see this sentence, we're using a uh, like past simple tense, I clean my house. And the meaning of this sentence um, says that uh, I clean it or I clean my house by myself, okay? If we're going to um, say that someone else did that action, we can express it um, like a cleaner, clean my house. That means someone else did for me, okay? But um, another way, and this, this is the part where causative verse comes, okay? Another way to use these expressions in English is using the causative constructions. So instead of saying I cl a cleaner clean my house, we can say, or instead of saying, I clean my house, we can say, I had my house cleaned, okay? If we check the meaning of that sentence, that means that someone else did the cleaning in my house, not me, okay? Someone else did. If this is, an, this is a, a good example of 
uh, writing causatives. I will use the marker right now to, to highlight this part. Uh, this part, okay? I had cleaned my house, I have my house clean, okay? I had my house clean. Uh, this is, the, this action has been done by someone else. Let's see. Let's go to the following. Okay, using causative verb um, is kind of similar or similar to using passive voice. But there is something that uh, differentiates each other. Okay, and this part is um, that the things um, the things that are happening in, in the sentence has been done, okay? Has been done, but we're not referring to um, the in, in a specific that I did the action, okay? It's not what we're expressing in the sentence. What we're expressing in the sentence is that the action has happened, but we're not specifying that I did it or that someone else did it. But the, the idea of that sentence, it shows us that this action was uh, completed by someone else, okay? Uh, we don't focus on who did the cleaning. We're not focused on it. We are focused on that the action was was done, okay? The action was done, and that's it, okay? That's what is called causative. We're going to see some examples in the structures of, of how we construct the causative um, sentences. Let's see. Had plus object plus and the past participle. In this case, have something done, okay? Um, check it out the first, the, the first rule that we have here. It says, we usually use have something done when we're talking about paying someone to do something for us. It's often used for services. Uh, the form is subject plus had plus subject plus the past participle and in, in this part, we have a, an example of this construction. Um, I will highlight right now in this, in this slide, and it says, I had my car washed, okay, washed. Uh, I had my car washed, okay? In this part, if we notice, if we uh, see the meaning of that sentence, we can notice that the action was complete. Okay, the action was complete by someone else or, um, or me, but we aren't specifying who did the action, just that the action was completed. If we say, John will have his house painted, okay, we are referring in this case to a, that the action in, 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 sen in that sense has, uh, will be done, okay? Uh, John won't uh, do the action. John is going to pay someone to, I mean, John, uh, John is going to pay someone to paint uh, his house, okay? We're not saying that John complete the action. We're saying that the action will be completed or will be done by someone else. Let's see um, if you have any question about it. Using hat plus the object plus the past participle. It's clear. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Uh, what about the rest, Miss Molina, Miss Garcia? Yes, teacher. This is, this is sentence in passive. Sorry? No. Uh, I, I, 
I said at the beginning, I said at the beginning, it's similar to uh, the passive voice, but uh, there is a difference between passive voice and the causatives. What, what is that difference? Uh, the difference is that when we use passive voice, uh, we say that the action is complete or was complete by someone in a specific, okay? Uh, for instance, if, if I say, um, using this, this, this sentence, okay? The house was painted by John. Who painted the, the, the house? John. John, okay? So if we notice in that sentence, um, that is passive voice. And we identify who did the action. But if I say, John will have his house paint, okay, who painted, who will paint the house? Who? We don't know. We don't know who is that person. So that's the difference between passive voice and uh, the causatives. Because in passive voice, we identify who. But in, 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 in causatives, we don't specify, we do not specify who did or will uh, do the action. Let's go to the following. Get plus object plus past participle. In this case, it's the, the structure is the same. Um, and it says that we can also use subject plus get plus object plus past participle. And this has the same meaning as have, but it's less formal, okay? The students, using the, the, this, the, uh, in this case, the example that we have here, the students get their essays checked. Okay, who check the essays? Who? We don't know, okay? We don't know. The, the fact here is that the essays were checked. By who? We don't know, okay? But the essays were checked. That's, that's how causatives work. It, it means that someone else did something, but we don't specify who. Uh, here we have some example. I will get my hair cut next week, okay? Check it out this example. He got his washing machine fixed. Okay, he got. Um, let's see the other and the other slide. It says, have someone do something. In this case, using this structure, have plus person plus the infinity. Okay, let's hear how we construct this. It says that we can also use the construction subject plus half plus person plus the infinitive. And this has a, a very similar meaning to have something done. Okay, have a very similar meaning. Pay attention to that. Okay, which have already talked about, but this time, we say who did the thing uh, or the things. We talk about the person who has to do the things for us, okay? I had the electricians look at my broken lie. I had the electricians. What is the difference between uh, the structures that we have at the beginning? This one. What is the the, the difference here. In this case, we are just focusing in the action, in, in something that, that happened. And in this part, we're focusing uh, in, in uh, the, the fact that someone did or will do something uh, for us. For instance, we have uh, here the example. Okay, uh, check it out this. The doctor will have the nurse call the patients. Okay, the doctor will have the nurse, who? The nurse call the patients. Who is going to call the patients? The nurse. The nurse, okay. The nurse. 
And also, the, we have the, the, the next sentence that says, the teacher has the students to write the answer on the whiteboard. Uh, who or whom are the people that will answer on the whiteboard? The students. The yes, students. So if we notice in the in the previous structure, we don't does, uh, we don't know who did the action. But the fact there is that the action was done. Okay, in this structure, using this one, uh, we know who did the action. And also we know uh, that the action was done or will be will uh, be done. Sure, so. when I use have, the, uh, the verb is the form normal. When use get, it's the, it the infinitive. You can you can use had and get, and it doesn't matter if you use it is in 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 well in different form uh, in different tense or time tense. Uh, well, I mean in in, in the different uh, structures that we had for tenses like present and or past. So it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, how we construct that. The thing is how we use the verb have in causatives, okay? How we construct that. That's the thing that we must focus on, not the tense, okay? Just in the uh, causative um, actions that is happening in the, in the sentence. For instance, in this case, we, we don't have like uh, any specific structure. Uh, this one in this sentence we have a future tense. Okay, if you notice the second one, we have a simple past tense. Okay, the teacher had the student write the answer on the whiteboard, and that one is 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 a uh, past. And the first one is the doctor will have the nurse call the patients. Okay, this structure is future. Um, well, but. If we check this sentence, both use the causative hat or the verb causative have. Why? Why hat? Because using that verb, uh, we can identify that someone or something has to be done. Okay. Maybe in this, maybe for someone in specific or maybe for an action in specific. Okay. Uh, let's see. Get someone to do something. Get someone to do something. And here we have the structure get plus a person plus the uh, two. And also using the infinity. And it says that we can also use the construction get plus someone plus two plus infinity. Um, and this means that you cause the other person to do the action. Okay. Maybe by paying them to do it, or by asking them to do it, or by persuading them to do it. For instance, and here we have this sentence and that we, as an example, and it says, she gets her son to do his homework by promising him ice cream when he finished. Okay, who did the action? Who did the action in this sentence? I will I will highlight using what? let me see her son. All this sentence. Okay, she get her son to do his homework by promising him ice cream when he finished. Uh, I listened to someone who, who talked, but I didn't. Listen the answer. Can you repeat it again, please? Her son. Her son. Okay. Yes. Very good. Yes, the, the, the person who did the action was her son. Okay. And who caused the action? Who? 
because in, in this part we have two things. Uh, who did the action and who caused the action, okay? Because there are two different things. Um, the causatives work in, works in that way. In, in this case, using get someone to do something. We notice that she, okay, she caused the action uh, in, in, in her son, okay? Why? Because she is persuading him to do the homework, how? By uh, promising him an ice cream, okay? Uh, and, and this persuasion, um, it's happened or will happen if, if the son of her finish the action, okay? If he, if he does, he, I mean, if he does, he will get an ice cream, okay? For instance, we have the other sentence. I got the cleaner to clean under the cut boards, okay? I got the cleaner to clean under the cut boards. What happened here, okay? In this case, it's, it's not persuasion. What we seen here is uh, the action of asking someone to do something, okay? Because the, the, the same uh, instruction say, okay? That this means, when we use this, this structure, this means that you cause the other person, check it out, the other patient, person, I mean, to do the action. Maybe by paying them, in this case, May it could be by paying or by asking them that it also apply to this, I call the cleaner. And uh, the third one is by persuading, like in the in the example that we have here. Who's, who is she persuading uh, her son with the ice cream? Okay, we uh, see in that way. Let's see. We have uh, some exercises. Okay. We have some exercises that you must work um, using the causative verb. Um, what you are going to do is to rewrite those sentences and post it in the WhatsApp group. Why? Because we don't have enough time to finish this activity um, through this video conference. Okay, because we have just a uh, well seven six minutes to finish uh, the the video conference but uh, what are you going to do just use the causative verbs and rewrite the sentences and send it to the whatsapp group uh, do you have any question about this activity I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. Sure. No. <clears throat> I have a question. Uh, with get, uh, the use is with the infinity with with two, two plus infinity. Okay. E with have not. Okay. We're going to go back to the to to, to this part. We're going to use uh, the infinitive. Uh, when we specify um, who uh, did the action, okay? And we're going to use the, the past participle when we don't know who did the action, but when the action was done. Check it out this. We can use infinity using have, or we can use infinity using get, okay? But the thing is the purpose of the, uh, of the sentence, okay? Uh, in that way, we can use the, the, the infinitive if we want to, to specify who did the action, or we can use, I mean, we can use the, the past participle if we 
don't want to specify, or when we do not want to specify, who did the action? I don't know if it's, if that explanation is clear. Yes, thank you. Okay. So there you have. I will put it again. The exercise, please. Um, if you have um, your cell phone, you can take a screenshot of this of this slide. Uh, or if you want, you can write it down in your notebooks. If you had notebooks, or uh, I don't know, you can just uh, write it in in uh, in notes or something like that. Let me see. Do you know where I can get someone to get my hair? Uh, okay. I got car wash to wash my car. Okay, very good. So I guess you're giving samples there. So um, that's what you're going to do. Just um, to write the sentence and send it to the WhatsApp group. Do you have any question for me? Do you have any other question? Mm. Not teacher. For me, not, not teacher. teacher for me. Okay, thank you. Thank you for answering. Um, well, I think that uh, we have already finished the video class for today class. I mean, for tonight class, because it's night. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. Uh, please complete this activity because you are, it is a, 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 an easy activity, what you're going to do, because you just, just write the sentences that you have there. And uh, what you have to do is just post it in the WhatsApp group and I will check in. If uh, there is something to, to, to comment on, on those sentences, I will uh, give you a feedback. And if the sentence are correct and it doesn't need feedback, so I won't give you. Um, well, if you don't have any other question, so I can say just goodbye and blessings <laughs> for all of you, okay? <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you for thank being you. here in this, in this video class. Uh, remember to attend the 80% of your uh, video classes to get the certification and go to the uh, next level. Okay, so see okay, you. Thank you. Uh, bye and bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you.